before we get into this, um, I just want to chat about something. And uh, this is probably the only and last time I will chat about this, but it's kind of been it's kind of been eating at me a little bit. So, uh, Valentino, thank you for the 22 months. I have noticed muted so I can just chat right now, but I appreciate it. Um, and that is just uh, that I got uh, when I posted the VODs of the uh, what's it called? Violence. Uh, sorry, I'm kind of going to ramble through this, but hopefully I hit all my points. When I posted the VODs of the uh, the violence stream, uh, I got a lot of people <laughs> telling me uh, that I went too hard on backseating. Um, and yeah, I agree. I watched it back and uh, I was kind of a miserable piece of shit during that stream. Um, and so I just wanted to apologize if there's anyone here that I kind of flipped out at. Uh, there probably is at least a few people. Uh, and just know that I'm going to handle it differently from here on out. Um, it, it's not an excuse, but I just, I, I have gotten sort of bad at handling the stress of having a lot of people in chat for ultra kill streams. And, um, I think that stream was a wake up call that I, I definitely need to handle it differently. Um, and, uh, one of those things is going to be just not being a dick to <laughs> people in chat, even if they are backseating, which for the most part, people weren't doing egregious backseating on the last stream, and I realize that now in, in hindsight. Uh, yeah, and I, I definitely also realize I need to stop reading YouTube comments, um, although the feedback that I got from those streams was genuinely very good. Um, it's just very bad for my mental health, and I, I think I came to that realization about a year ago, and uh, I just kept reading them, <laughs> and I don't know why. I think I told myself I would stop responding to them, uh, but as if I read them, it's kind of hard to not respond to them. Um, so yeah, that's another thing as well. Um, but basically, all I wanted to say is that uh, I just I apologize for being a dick on that last stream. And uh, I'm going to change things here. The vibe is definitely going to be different tonight. Uh, I hope uh, you all will just enjoy watching me go for P-Ranks. Um, still no backseating, please. But uh, yeah, I don't know. It's... Um, it's just it's going to be a different vibe. That, that's that's my goal, at least. Um, and yeah, I, I hope you guys enjoy. And uh, I'm sorry if my <laughs> my little outburst soured the previous stream for you. And that's all I want to say. Yeah, BGB, you're one of the people that this apology is is directed at. Um, I mean, it's it's one thing to like, like, I know you kind of get it. Um <laughs> But it's another thing when people, like, that VOD got, like, 60k views or something. It's another thing when, like, you know, there's normally, like, maybe 15, 20 people in chat. Um, and those people kind of know that that's not, <laughs> that's not how it normally is. But those 60,000 other people that watch it, they don't know that. And so, uh, I Top gotta be, uh... violent outbursts, number 10. Yeah. <laughs> how did that come through? I thought I muted it. Whatever. Um... But yeah, so that, that's all to say that um, I just wanted to address this quick at the beginning of the stream. Uh, and uh, yeah, I I just I apologize. And um, we're, we're going to be doing things a little different on that front from here on out. Uh, and, and that's all I really have to say about I did a just a second playthrough to run through and just make sure I knew like the path through each of the levels. Um, oh, I should turn my volume up, too. I think I do 60 40 normal. Okay. Um Yeah, let's just go for it. It's probably we're probably not gonna <laughs> gonna bink it on our first try, but 7-2 is like a lag switch for you. Interesting. I had that at the end of uh of 7-3 a little bit. Okay. You kinda have to do all of this random crap. I will, I will get that hydrate when I die, most likely. Boing. I do at least think I know the way through this level now, which is good. You have to walk all the way up to this guy. Hi. Ooh, what? I didn't. Dark tide okay, I didn't realize that wasn't gonna. Be less painful than finding all the secrets. What? 
Hang on, did my key mapping change? My whiplash is not working. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, uh, what is this? Are we good otherwise? What the hell? <laughs> I think we're all right. Yeah, okay, so that feels a little unfair. <laughs> I think I would have definitely lived there if that just hadn't happened. All right, well, oh well. <laughs> Good warm up. And also I had the wrong fist out too for that room, so. We go again. Yeah, that's the rare time where I'm like, that doesn't really feel like my fault, huh? I blame the game. <laughs> and I think that's okay. I think that might just be accurate. Bad to game. Why didn't that hit? Who? Where'd you go? Oh god. Oh, that sucked. <laughs> that sucked a little bit. Okay. We're good though. We're alive. That's what matters most, I think. Oh, that didn't hit him. It would have been so funny, though. Where did you go? There you are. Hello. Okay, where do I go from here? It's up, right? This is the part where I start to get a little confused. Yeah, we're good. And then we place that there. The layout of this level is basically forward progress, backtrack, forward progress, backtrack. Um. I was not prepared for them. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. If you can't tell when I walked into that arena, I forgot what was in that arena. <laughs> <laughs> but now we know. Now we know. Can't believe people actually noticed the pistol charge being different. It's so minuscule. Are you talking about the sharpshooter? Alt? It, it feels pretty significant to me. But I don't use the alt anyways. I never really liked it. It's less the spin up that bothers me and more the cooldown. Oh, the piercer charging sprite. Oh, I did not notice that. I didn't even know it changed. Where'd you go? Where'd you all go? No, fuck off. Take that. I'm gonna have to look at this now. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Hello. This is such an awkward little fight here. And we're going this way anyway, so alright. Let me see it. Oh yeah, it's... It, yeah, you're right. It just has a little more uh, pixels to it. I get blood from that? <laughs> Would have been nice, Mr. Minotaur. Okay, this is the room that I... Oh, 
that miss. Uh-oh. Hi. No, I don't want that. I don't want that either. I think I got a little bit saved by the bell there. <laughs> Could you die, perhaps, Mr. Cerberus? Not my finest performance there, but you know what? We'll take those. I didn't die. Uh, am I going backwards now? Let's see. No, this is correct. Yes, this is correct. I just backtrack a little bit, and then we're good. I'm unable to slide hop, apparently. Nope, never mind. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I practiced this earlier and I knew, but now I'm like, never mind. I guess I don't remember. Yeah, okay. This is what you do. Okay, it didn't take me long at least. Hopefully that doesn't fuck us on time. And now I will not forget. Oh shit, not what I wanted to do. I thought you would be dead, honestly. There we go. Hi! Okay. That I will take. This is where I came in. No need. Up. At least I'm kind of remembering. Um, okay, and then I get this, and then I go back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, what's up, catacombs? I'm good. I had a, had a nice holiday. Hope you all did as well. Yeah, this, that's right. I haven't really messed around with it yet, but the screwdriver did get a pretty good buff. Yeah, it can deal its damage instantly now if you punch it, basically. I think is the, uh, is the gist. What's up, Rude? They come from this way first. Oh, that's another thing. I need to unmap that because I have that map to rocket. I just get rid of you. Is there a way? Uh. <laughs> Does that matter? <laughs> Wait, I got. Let's just. There we go. Much better. Okay, never mind. All of those missed. Yikes. <laughs> that was, uh... That was a mistake. Oh, shit. from that. There we go. Okay. Yeah, the second <laughs> the second uh Minotaur encounter is a bit insane. Hey, buddy. Do you you just I killed him fast enough that you didn't come. All right. That's fun. That's not what I wanted.
Go through it, go through it. No, I lost it on time. Wait. Where did I miss a kill? Or is he not counted yet? Oh, okay. All right, I had enough kills. What is the time limit? I must have just barely missed it. That sucks, but uh, I was like 30 seconds off. Okay. Honestly, just that like wandering around I did probably could have fixed it there. That's all right. You show your shotgun's color thing in the terminal? Uh, yeah, I will. Oh yeah, I told some people in the comments I was gonna read the, uh, the new enemies terminal entries too. My stance on that has always been that I thought it would be boring on stream, and that, like, me reading it is the same as, like, really anyone reading it. But a lot of people said they want it, so... I'm down to do it. Oops. <laughs> Not what I meant to do. What am I doing? What am I doing? Don't do this. Can I just... <laughs> I was not prepared for <laughs> Terminal... Terminal Gaming Next... Ah. Terminal Gaming Next Death. Let's go. Yeah, I, that's right. I always forget that it has, like, uh, useful stuff in it. Where do we start here? Built in the early, okay, this is the Gutterman. Built in the early days of the final war, the Guttermen were one of the first successful experiments in using blood as a fuel source. Oh, that's cool, actually. Um, as well as the first automatons to be deployed in wide-scale conflict. Oh, do I have to, I, I have to fucking, eh. Can I not just scroll? Yeah, I can. Why was that not working at first? During the war's first phase, an era of trench warfare, these seemingly unstoppable walls were airdropped into enemy trenches which they would then slowly and syst systematically clear out as all opposing soldiers would have to choose between being minced by the gutter men or ro running out of the trench and getting mowed down by machine gun fire. That's funny because in 7-2, there's only one gutter man, like, actually in a trench. And he sucks. <laughs> He's so annoying. He's, like, the only one, though. Yeah, I did do the, the secret boss. Yes. Researchers had not yet found a way to keep the blood inside a machine fresh, so a live fuel source was strapped inside, kept alive by minimal life support, before the gutter men were welded shut. Although publicly- that's horrifying. Um, although publicly these fuel sources were claimed to be volunteer patriots, most were deserters, battle-fatigued returnees, or prisoners of war. Forces from far beyond took notice of the cruelty man was capable of and the suffering of these hu of these human blood supplies served as an inspiration for the creation of the mannequins, which we will read next, I suppose. Uh, the shield is gutter man's main defense. Destroying it with knuckle blaster will cause them to take increased damage. It also causes them to, like, fall over, which is nice. Uh, although slow at first, their tracking will improve the longer they maintain line of sight. It's best not to stay out in the open for too long. Yeah. Once the shield has been broken, the gutter man's punches can be Would parried. You volunteer to be a gutter man? No. It doesn't sound like anyone volunteered to be a gutter man, in fact. Um, let's see. Uh, gutter man's corpse can be ground slammed to cause a large explosion that damages surrounding enemies and launches the... Oh, I actually didn't know that. That's kind of cool. Um, I'll read the mannequin as well, and then uh, I'll read some more later. How about that? During the departure of the angels after the disappearance of God, many sinners attempted to escape the violence lair, braving the labyrinth that lay at its edges, thinking they could find a way out in the absence of heaven's wardens. I would volunteer to not be a gutter man, in fact. Yeah, so based. The fools who attempted would realize far too late that angels were not all that kept them from freedom, as the Garden of Forking Pass is no ordinary labyrinth, but one of malicious intent, overseen with cunning cruelty. The halls each similar enough to give no sense of direction, but just different enough to grant no familiarity. See, see chat, it's okay that I got lost a little bit. <laughs> uh, would eventually exhaust each escapee, as, and as they fell into a deep sleep, their metamorphosis began. Each sinner was torn apart, joint by joint, their broken and shattered limbs shoved into hollow statues. 
startling them to life as the flesh and blood of mannequins. Dude, these new enemies are horrifying. What the hell? <laughs> The gift of death is a rare privilege in hell, so the sinners who attempted to control their fate now lay dormant in eternal agony, unable to control even their own bodies, which now continue to carry on the same punishment to other unfortunate fools. Alright. Though they are nimble, if a mannequin is knocked into the air or hit while clinging onto a surface, they lose their balance when landing, granting a small window for an easier hit. Those fast enough may even punch them in the air while they're vulnerable, killing them in a single blow. Oh, really? Interesting. Does that work even with the the feedbacker? I suppose, why why wouldn't it? Mannequin projectiles can be difficult to avoid due to their homing capabilities, but this makes them even easier to parry with the feedbacker arm. They are fun to parry. Mannequins are easier to hit with larger radius of explosions, but are more resistant against them than other weaponry. Oh, interesting. Alright, uh, I read two of them. I'll save more for later. How about that? I'll read them intermittently throughout the stream, and you'll just have to keep watching. <laughs> This part's annoying. I think I don't need to wait for it to come up, though. Yeah, I don't. Did I hit it? I did. Okay. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. I turned away awfully fast. Goodbye. I don't want... I don't like you. Yeah, it, it's cool as an introduction, but you're right. The It makes the P-Rank a bit Thank awkward. Oh, come on. Oh, God. I just hello. God. <laughs> Terrible combat. Oh fuck! I went the wrong way again. Let's just do this. Launch me. Wrong fist! Wrong fist! Wrong fist! God damn it. This level is just really long, man. Struggling with the mannequins more than I thought I would. I, I thought I had them figured out, but they're just a, they're just a little bit goofy. A little bit silly. They're just silly little guys. Goodbye. Shit, I just let that hit me, huh? <laughs> Shit, I just let that hit me, didn't I? Need to parry something. What the fuck was that? Okay, that was awkward. Good thing I framed that, huh? <laughs> huh? Ha 
Hi. The way they just come right up to you is like, hello. Hello there, Mr. Mannequin. Mr. or Mrs. Mannequin. <laughs> okay. That was pretty funny. Cool. You motherfucker! That was bad. That was bad. That was bad what I did there. <laughs> that was not very smart. I did have a feeling this would be the toughest level. I guess I guess we'll see, but bummer. I guess it's a good thing that these are taking some time though. I was kind of worried. I, I was genuinely worried I might breeze through them and then just like have nothing to do for stream. No, not enough energy. I have like 170 hours in this game or something like that. And I still consistently forget that uh, dash jumping takes two stamina. <laughs> I mean, I feel like you kind of can just whiplash through. Uh... Yikes. I feel like you can whiplash through the Mind Flayer's projectiles a lot of times because they spawn in like a circle. But... Oh, come on! I couldn't punch fast enough. Uh-oh. Where'd you go? Oh. I kind of disagree about 7-1 being a warm-up. Th this level is a marathon, not a sprint. Which makes it kind of uniquely annoying to P-rank, in my opinion. Come on! Wait, is the skull not down there? Am I stupid? Yeah, I am stupid. It's there. And then it needs to go down here, right? Nope, nope, I am dumb. <laughs> no, I forgot again! Let me go this way. And then we go this way. Jesus. Alright, now that is a dementia gaming moment. I think we're okay on on time though. Did I actually just shoot his tank like raw? <laughs> that was kind of funny. Oh, isn't there supposed to be a virtue up here? It must spawn after this one dies. Okay, hold up. 
I I should have just parried the punch. I should have just parried the damn punch. <laughs> why why did I back off? That is the hardest arena I feel like in the level. What's your favorite ultra kill level? BGB says 8-1. We can't even be so sure that that's a joke. Yo, Britta, thank you for the 26 months. Holy shit, I missed a sub from my own wife. <laughs> that's just bad husband behavior there. I apologize. I don't even know if she's still watching. <laughs> I feel bad. You think 7-3 is going to be harder than this? I do not, because I almost P-ranked it by accident earlier. Where's he at? There we go. P4, there you go. What was that? He was just teleporting towards me. I guess that's kind of what they do, huh? That was quick. I didn't get a lot of health back, though. It'll be another three or so months before I even get a peep of fraud. Yeah, that is- that is just invalid blood there. Yeah, no, that was dumb. Again, I really just shouldn't have done that. <laughs> See, yes, I am. <laughs> that was really just a- just poor decision making, huh? That's gonna be my- that's gonna be my downfall tonight, isn't it? Alright, we go again. Nice. Zero S is bad. What are your feelings on 7-3? Still haven't beat it. Oh, okay. It has a bit of a... It is a bit of a horror theme, that's all I, I was wondering. Ha. Ah. <laughs> Get owned. Uh oh. I'm making quick work of these first few arenas. It's the fucking Mind Flayer arena that's getting me. Um, yeah. No. Uh -oh. Shouldn't have done that. Fucking saved by the bell, Jesus. Got a little lucky there. Yeah, we'll, we'll take that, though, you know? Pretty hard to complain about that. I have a no flashlight policy in games. You might have a little issue with... with 7-3. I feel like you guys have weird animations. I feel like that also might just be the point. Oh my god, please. No, 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 stop, 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 stop. I'm just losing my mind in this particular arena. I was trying to punch that, but I think I just straight up missed my F key.
Maybe so, maybe reading some lore will will get me back. What's up? Neezer cat? I'm not sure if I said that right. Lore. That was right. Okay, cool. Happy to hear it. Who's here? Oh, you're here. What's up, West Axel? How's it going? Don't hit me in the back, please. That's all I asked, really. Lower. <laughs> With the dumpster sphere. That's good, that's good. Why don't I just do this? Well, see you tomorrow. Oh, no! I'm alive. I really shouldn't be, I don't think. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. I don't really need to hit that checkpoint, do I? Did that get the mannequin? I sure hope it did. Where are you at? Dead. Ooh, what was that? What the fuck? I hate you. <laughs> Excuse me? Where did you go? Oh god, dude. Don't do this to me. <laughs> Don't do this to me, mannequins. <laughs> the amount of health. I guess it should at least be easy enough to, uh, to heal back. I think. Yeah, that mannequin was getting a combo video. That's so true. <laughs> uh, left. <laughs> Eight health. Poggies. Oh, there is... There was a terminal there. Is it okay if I say a level mechanic for this level? Um, sure. I've already played through it, so... It, it, it probably won't be a spoiler. I think they come this way. I gotta remember. Goodbye. I just like to hit these guys with the... <laughs> they hit the ceiling and die. Oh, that's funny. No, he... Wait, I'm curious. Does this get it? No, that does not work. Not yet. No! 
Oh no, I'm trolling. <laughs> they buffed the screwdriver in a certain sense. I don't know if they buffed damage. Get me out, get me out, get me out. <laughs> I was like, I was ready to backwards long jump out of that bitch. All right, first one down, baby. That was not like the cleanest run I possibly could have had, but I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> it took, it took longer than I hoped. So I'll take that one. <clears throat> Alright, 7-2. We should probably read about gutter tanks, huh? <laughs> Imagine if I knew anything about the enemies I was fighting. That might be a good thing. Have fun with 7-2. I, I feel like this one's going to be easier. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm smoking copium, but I feel like it's going to be easier. I don't know. I thought, I thought for sure 7-1 would be the hardest just because of the boss at the end. And the length. Uh, okay. As Gutterman single-handedly ended the trench warfare era of the final war, armies scrambled to create countermeasures leading to the creation of more machines of war. Built from the foundations of Gutterman to save time, gutter tanks were equipped with highly efficient explosives and arms capable of damaging and destroying thick armor. Yeah, no shit, bro. The slow lumbering walls that once dominated the field had now become obsolete. As human soldiers had quickly become useless in war, utterly outclassed by machines, they were almost entirely phased out. This led to the second era of the final war where machines fought machines in back and forth tied as new designs were phased in and out at a feverish pace, each designed specifically to counter the last. Although the, at first the soldiers celebrated returning home, they soon found that the pointless endless arms race left little in its wake. Yeah, they, they, yeah. <laughs> All resources were used on machines of war and impoverished civilians had to struggle to survive. Home was just another battlefield, a war of all against all. Conquest leads to war, war leads to famine, famine leads to... Strategy. <laughs> uh, the gutter tank's punch is deceptively fast and powerful. The best way to get is to get... The best way to get close safely is to bait a punch before closing the gap. Okay, that much. It took me a little while, but I had realized that. Due to reuse technology, the freeze frame rocket launcher is capable of freezing gutter tank rockets too making them temporarily incapable of long-range combat. That much, I'm pretty sure I got as well. Oh, I should have read the Minotaur entry. We'll, we'll read this. Type, Supreme Demon. Data, unknown. No data. Yo, thank you for the five, Anonymous. I appreciate it. You see the nerf for them? Yeah, they fall over if their punch misses, right? And then you can parry it, like, after, if I'm not mistaken. Um, it, it's pretty nice. I mean, it... It keeps their role as, like, an enemy that you need to be careful approaching, but it rewards you for knowing that you can bait out that punch, right? I, I think it, it seems balanced to me. The Minotaur, one of the oldest surviving demons, was sculpted by... Redacted. Redacted. As a gift for the Judge of Hell, Minos, in an attempt to form some sort of rapport. Though it's I think I did read this, didn't I? Though its creator considered it beautiful, a personalized monument of death and despair, Minos was terrified of the grotesque caricature of his past mistakes and cast it into the Garden of Forking Pass, hoping it would never be seen again. I did read this. Now the Minotaur is... I'm reading it anyway, screw it. <laughs> now the Minotaur is old and its body failing, falling apart, running blind through the labyrinth in a desperate attempt to break out. Its only desire to see the sky for one last time. Sag. Although difficult to heal from due to its distance, it is best to be patient. New trams will often arrive carrying weaker foes for easier healing. Dude, this is gonna just be the fucking uh, screwdriver stream. Because I used it twice in that level, and uh, I think I'm gonna use it on the 5-4 boss as well, just for a little extra damage. Uh, and healing doesn't hurt. I'm not sure it works, though. Either way. Much of its body is protected, but its guts are exposed, making for an easy, consistent target. All right. They made the funny dog sad. 
Five, did I say 5-4? I meant 7-4. <laughs> My bad. Can you heal on the 7-4 boss? I'm not sure. Leviathan. Yeah, 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 guys. We're gonna, we're gonna fight Leviathan real quick just for fun. The screwdriver quite literally goes burr. Uh, that is factual. Uh-oh. 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 I'm gonna die. <laughs> just restart me. Just restart me. <laughs> Yeah, the, the screwdriver has a little bit been power creeped into some amount of relevance. What am I doing? <laughs> I did this earlier today and I didn't have trouble with it. I think I'm just trying to go too fast now. There we go. Ultra, 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 ultra. Very silly enemy. I love that you can just shotgun swap them for free parries, essentially. Uh, I don't have my magnets here, huh? <laughs> okay. I, say, I think what we will do is we won't saw trap that first room. I think I'll just... I think I'll just shotgun swap him, because that pretty much just shreds him. And it's just like free parries. Ooh, okay. 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 Let's do this. <laughs> uh, it's silly. It's silly. It's a good enemy. What can I say? I enjoy it. At that time. Okay, there we go. We got it that we got it that second time. All good, all good, all good. MS just falls over. So true. Can you check if the corpse in the gutter man's back has a Santa hat on? Sorry, I didn't catch that. What did you say? You check if the if the corpse has a Santa hat on, okay. It's not a priority while going for a P rank, but. Did that just kill him? Not the cleanest I could have done that. <laughs> okay. We do a little juggling. Everything's a I would say everything except maybe that. <laughs> we'll see though. If I have to restart or something, I could. There you are. What the fuck? I lose track of the mannequins sometimes, the way they just... Doink around. I don't know what I'm saying. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> we ended up doing okay there. Uh, P-ranking's going pretty good so far. Welcome, Miss Anaheim. Uh, these are tanks, right? Or, uh, no, these are just regular gutter men. I 
know if I wanted to do this, honestly. Hmm. Well, that was a, a bit of a problem. Like where Disneyland is. Yeah, I suppose so, huh? Not having health going into this uh, gutter tank fight is going to suck. We could just do this, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty fun. It's actually easier to do than I thought it would be. Funny enemy. I unfroze immediately. Yeah, okay, gutter tanks suck. <laughs> uh, yeah, it turns out gutter tanks gotta suck. Alright, well, we should- We should get better at fighting though, that's the goal at least. I didn't feel like too bad of a first attempt. That was the worst part of your run. Yeah, somehow I'm less worried about that final arena, although maybe I should be more worried about it. Is that the easiest boss in the game now? If we even count that a boss? He's got a health bar. It's, it's just like absurdly easy. I honestly think Maurice is probably harder than that. <laughs> the cancer is rodent. Oh, that's true. Oh, come on. Yeah, I don't really care about what rank I get on my first playthrough either. It's more just about having fun and exploring. Okay. Uh oh. That sucked. Right, yeah, I mean, he's sanded. I don't know why I got close to him. <laughs> that room didn't give me any issues the first time through. Okay. No stamina. That was a little awkward. It's just quite literally free. Making that explosion is pretty fun. I wish I had read about that. I will say the uh, the YouTube commenters were right on that one. Oh. Uh oh. Yeah. 
Yikes. <laughs> okay. Saved. What did you say? The difference between your first playthrough and P-Rank attempts are stellar, like watching a monkey suddenly speak <laughs> high society English. You know what? Yeah. I think 5-4 may really feel that way for me. Are you dead? You're not dead. I feel like that's how it is for everyone. Yeah. That's how I would imagine it is for most people. Okay, I need health is what I need. Wrong fucking fist. Wrong fucking fist. That keeps happening. It keeps happening. It keeps happening. YouTube comments, there's one Twitch chat minus, I don't know what that is, probably 259 trillion. Trash three. <laughs> After last stream, I think I was, uh, I think I put myself on a negative score. I was wrong more than I was right. <laughs> but we addressed that at the beginning of the stream. <laughs> Never have the Knuckle Blaster equipped, pretty much. I feel like, if anything, these levels should probably change that. That was neat. Okay. I kind of just let the Swords Machine beat up on me, and that was not a good plan. <laughs> Losing my mind. It always goes so much better when I practice off stream than on stream. I think there's something to be said for that. Like, I do think some people don't necessarily realize that, like, my experience of playing the game is fundamentally different because I stream it. And it's hard to explain until you just, like, until you just experience it firsthand. How's P-Ranking going? It's going. Performance anxiety? I don't even know if it's that. It's more just like sensory overload, you know? It's just like one more thing you have to focus on. I mean, I streamed for Shiko that one night. It only took 10 tries on 7-4. <laughs> Damn. Is Trash Man washed? The answer might shock you. It's yes. It's yes. Okay. Fist. Wrong fist in the opposite direction this time. The sentry must be dead, right? Being washed in this game isn't that bad. I can't, I can't, I can't. What is it with this room? What is it with this fucking room? There's one for you. Being watched isn't that bad. More Ultra Kill fans should try it. <laughs> huh? Huh? Sand? Yeah, dude, I know. I do know there's sand. It may not seem like I do. But honestly, I just- I just always feel like that guy is going to die sooner than he does. Style.
Because you aren't by done until it's over. Damn it if that ain't the truth. It didn't hit that. <laughs> Remove the sand. There you go. That, that's a good pro tip, Leave. Thank you. Have you played this update, Leave? Oh, someone survived. Huh? <laughs> Did that kill him? That was just panic. <laughs> Uh. Bye. I have just once, it's pretty fun, but this is a really butt clenching new set of enemies. Yeah, very true. I think what I do, how about just this? Just set the saw trap up here, and then focus on the, uh... Uh-oh. Open up! Open up! Let me out! Oh no, did you get sanded? Oh, the... They fucking got sanded. <laughs> Why am I dying? I first tried this room earlier. Why am I dying here now? Splash water on him. Okay, okay. Good advice. Good advice. <laughs> I never thought of this. I wasn't paying attention. I was reading chat while also trying to not fail at a platforming section. Imagine that. How do you like violence? I like it a lot, yeah. Pretty much my only complaints involve the final boss just not being very fun. Um, I, yeah, I love violence. Where are we going, Mr. Swords Machine? That was a bit of a mess. He's not dead, is he? There it is. <laughs> I should just maybe... He teleports to me like fucking Ornstein. Would you like to die? Please? Thank you. Okay, what are we- what are we actually doing in here? A nuke, perhaps? It didn't really do what I wanted it to. Who's still here? You are. What? No, not the weapon I wanted. There we go. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, this, uh, this update really makes you think about using the right arm. That much is for sure. Hello.
What a strategy to, get to kill those guys. As if I really need to hit that. No, no. No, bro, no. <laughs> this is going about as bad as it can for being deathless up to this point. Like, just die. It's really all I ever wanted from you. They don't red explode anymore. What? That got patched? I mean, it would be cool if they, like, at least, you know. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, we're fine. I was never worried. I was never worried in the slightest. Not even a little bit. Now, nah, getting rid of the super nuke was good, I think. <laughs> that thing was insane. You think they should bring back the mega nuke? I mean, it was pretty cool. Oh, if you ride them first. Okay, I did know about that. Get me out of here. He's dead, right? <laughs> Wait, no, not this way, not this way. Fuck, dude, I might be... I might be not so good on time. We'll see. Get me out of here! First try on that last arena. Let's go. Give it to me. We take those. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing in the sand arena though. <laughs> Uh, I was you grab yourself a V1 or V2 plush on the new blood store before they sold out? No. Um, honestly, I didn't even see the post until they were sold out. And honestly, I'm not much of a plush guy. I'll, I'll leave it for other people. I got the shirt, though. I don't know. I don't know if anyone noticed. I got the shirt on. <laughs> okay. I'm not super worried about this one, but again, maybe I should be. Maybe, just maybe, I should be. Did your jaw drop when you saw 7-4? Yes. Can I just do this? Like, what's the fastest way to kill these guys? <laughs> Probably this, huh? There it is. Pretty tree. Puppets with hats. Yeah, true. This way. This way first? Yeah. Where is it? You're still alive, aren't you? No, you know what? I'm just gonna trust it. Two, yeah, two kills. Okay, that's right. Can we get a 
double nuke in the last two. Get me out of here. Are you not fed? Let me just walk out, right? Bong. V1 is a futuristic ATM. the name Lobotomy Corporation. I've heard of it. I don't know much about it, though. Okay, you're dead now. Holy shit. Um... No, 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 no. Yeah, I thought, I thought I could just bait out the punches and get some health. Did not work. That's all right. That was the first try, and I already was not feeling too bad. We will get there in the end. Feed it. <laughs> That's actually the fastest way, I think. V1, the V in V1 stands for very good at dispensing money. You know, I like this theory. Tell me more. I don't know why I was charging that up. Is anyone still alive? Be nice if you weren't. Spin! Holy shit. Yeah, that sucked. <laughs> okay, but I think I think Maurice's are first. I really do. I guess I could just insta-kill one of them. Yeah. Maybe that's the plan. Where the fuck am I? What is this? The one thing that all the standard levels have in common? Weirdly long intros. Yeah, that's true. I, I see what you mean, like... Th these levels, I like them though because they're more of like set pieces than, than past levels have been. I think it's cool. It's like a neat escalation for this game. There are some filth in this level, yeah. There was a few soldiers in 7-1 as well. That was awkward. You both dead. You are now. Lust reminds me of Turbo Overkill. Possible reference? Oh. 
Uh-oh. Yeah, I feel like we got... Uh, listen, I'm not much of a lore head, but I feel like we got a lot of lore in this update. How long did 7-2 take you to P-Rank? Uh, like 30 minutes, maybe? About that? I didn't mean to switch. I don't have any ideas for what 7S might be. Well, okay. Uh-oh. not what I wanted to do. Just tried and true. Okay. I didn't get health from it, but that works. We'll take that. Wait, am I meant? No, I'm not meant to go out. I'm not meant to go out. There's another exit, right? Yeah, over here. Y'all good? Y'all dead? No, no, I... I fat-fingered it twice. Man, the arm switching is giving me trouble tonight. I made a joke about that in the first stream. That I was, uh... <laughs> that I was realizing that I was doing a lot more arm switching in this, uh in this lair, and um, it has come back to bite me. Feed it! Yellow arm still coming? Last I heard. Can I just go over? <laughs> you could if you wanted to. I'm gonna guess that the, uh, that the speed run does go, uh, Go over the wall if someone wants to confirm. There's probably someone here in the now. for the sanded enemies. Holy shit. Look at the hats! <laughs> okay. The yellow weapons, I do believe, are cancelled. Yeah. Any percent doesn't even get to this far level. Yeah, yeah okay, I figured. I guess I meant P percent, but... I think the- I think Kikita said the arm was still coming, though. Okay. 
Okay, that was not what I intended to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, please, please, surely at some point you die, right? Much better. <laughs> Much better. Get it. Where is everyone? Hi. We done? Who's left? I hear some shit. Get me out. Woo! Yeah, that one wasn't too bad, actually. We take those. Inferno, let's see, what was that? Inferno, the murderers were drowning in a boiling river of blood, and if they tried to rise to the surface, centaur archers would fire at them. Yeah, everything, I, I've never read Inferno, but everything I learn uh, about... about Inferno, <laughs> based on what I know from Ultra Kill, mostly, um, leads me to thinking that it is very fucked up, and so is Ultra Kill. Um, okay, what have I not read? I guess it's just the boss entry, huh? All right, let's read about the Earth Mover. Earth Movers were the pinnacle of the arms race, often called the Horsemen of the Apocalypse. It took only one to level an entire city and leave nothing but fire in its wake. The last era of the final war had begun. The first machines large enough to house a shield generator. These walking fortresses could only be made vulnerable from within, making them the new front lines for smaller, more mobile machines. Due to their colossal size, they required both blood and solar power to function. When the final era escalated, cleansing the world with fire, the surviving civilians were forced to evacuate and build new homes on the backs of those machines. At the sur as the surface became an inhospitable wasteland where no flora or fauna could flourish. Eventually, the soot, smoke, and decay from unending global war would blot out the sun, casting the world into the long night, and earth movers unable to feed on sunlight shut down and died one by one. So they're, they're living things that ended up in hell. That's really interesting. I suppose that makes sense, though. The very idea of eternal torment is pretty fucked up, if you ask me. Yeah, I just don't like to confront it, you know? Why, uh, why Gabriel... I wonder why Gabriel thinks Gluttony 3-2 is a palace. Isn't heaven the palace? I guess... Maybe he's referring to all of hell as a palace. That's how I've always uh, read it. Because he, he calls it the layers of this palace. Um, and the, I assume referring to the layers of hell, right? Dante put people in hell just because he didn't like them, which is pretty funny. Yeah, I, I have heard that. I've heard that Inferno is very vindictive, <laughs> which is funny. War had become entirely dependent on them. Large-scale conflict was no longer feasible. Finally, mankind started to work together to reverse the effects of the long night climate catastrophe. And so began the new peace. Oh, there was actually like a light at the end of this tunnel? Christ. 200 years of war for its own sake ended not with a bang, but utter silence. As, at the brink of despair, the planet would slowly learn to breathe once more, and the corpses of these titans would serve as a stark reminder of just how close mankind was to an apocalypse by their own hand. 
Each part of the security system is immobile, making them very vulnerable to attacks that would otherwise easily miss, such as freeze frame rockets. Yeah, that's true. I didn't even I didn't think about that. Uh, some of the gaps in the main computer room's uh, defense grid are too high up for a normal jump, but <laughs> the elevated edges of the room can be used to get higher. More adept movers may instead jump immediately after ground slam to gain enough height. You know what this terminal entry should say? Just slide right. <laughs> yeah, I know. All right. Well, there we go. I'm not sure how this will go. We shall see, won't we? Bye. That better become two. Okay, it did. Second hardest P rank for you on this layer. Yeah, some of the actual like arena fights are pretty nasty. I think I've got the strat down for the boss. I could be wrong, but... Are you dead? You are. Okay, that is your- that is your corpse, sir. Okay, we're fine. I mean, that sucked, but... Works. All right, I'm not sure I have a good strat for the security system. Let's see. I bet that can be freeze framed, huh? I didn't even think to do that. Uh oh, that's not even hitting that. Okay. You're not dead, huh? No, <laughs> he's stuck to it! There it is. <laughs> Did it show that I didn't have a strat? Okay. Down first. You can do what? I'm not sure what, what you didn't realize you couldn't do. Oh, hello. Oh, it is healing me. Hi chat, I know what I'm doing now. Thank you. Welcome to the stream. Uh-huh. Uh now just to not die here, which is actually harder than it sounds. Oh 
it. That's bad. Yeah, okay. I forgot about the sentries there. I, for some reason, I thought the sentries spawned later. Yeah, you want to know something? The screwdriver feels a little bit tailor-made for that fight. Jesus. Okay. Well, it wasn't a first try. I know what I'm doing now. Messes up the grapple. Listen. I never said I was good at that part. I was like, you need to just die. Oh, you can farm the idols to get the P rank? Yeah, that doesn't make sense because you got to kill the boss anyways, right? Yeah, I'm a little confused about that. You're dead. Come on. You're gonna die, right? Tell me you died. Okay, that went up to seven. <laughs> Oop. Okay, wow, you can land down there. Today I learned. No, too early. No, don't kill me. <laughs> that was almost bad. p rank is going good for the most part. I should have maybe had this one first try, but... Game, can't you throw me a bone on that one? <laughs> like, really? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Do you have to be right under him to parry him? <laughs> God damn it. Both he is, both he is. The only bone that this game is going to throw you is getting boned by the game. That actually is very true. We hold these truths to be self-evident. Get some help. Goodbye. Uh oh, this is bad, huh? Okay, I'm coming. That could have gone worse. Get off of that ceiling. Would you? Would you?
You guys had trouble. Oh, I mean, I, I had trouble with 7-2. Seven, seven, I'm not going to lie, but 7-1 was still harder for me. This is interesting. That's interesting what's happening. Oh, I didn't see that. Okay, that explodes like a mind flare. Today I learned. Okay, I shouldn't be messing around, should I? Okay, there we go. I was like, I did not hit the uh, the jump pad. Okay. This is what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna nuke here. No! I shouldn't have done that. Oh, we're good, we're good, we're good. And then this is the final kill, right? Yes, there we go. Can we see the lobotomy strat? Yeah, I'm down to try it. Someone may have to coach me through it. Oh, it was patched? Okay, never mind then. Oh, there we go! There's the P-Ranks. Not too bad. Twas patched. Alright, let's check this bad boy out. Why am I going to Act 2? There it is! All gold, baby. Good job, Dumpster Man Sue, and one and a half years for layers eight and nine. Wait, 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 hold, hold on a second now. Hold on a second now. You can stay. You're welcome. <laughs> You're allowed to stay. <laughs> you don't have to leave. Uh, cool. That was fun. Uh, what a good layer. I, I still haven't come around to the brain boss fight, but as you saw there, it's pretty easy to trivialize, so... I will never worry about it again. I think, um... I saw that the colors of the lasers were changed, I believe, so that people didn't mistakenly think that, uh... that you could iframe through them. But it's still the only thing in the game that you can't iframe through. Am I crazy? Or is, the, is there more? What's your favorite level? I would say... God, I like them all a lot. I really do. Um, I, I would say probably 7-3. Cyber grind next? I don't know. I'm not the biggest cyber grind fan. I, I never really, I, I played a little bit of cyber grind when it got updated, uh, but it, it's just, it's never really become my thing. Um, and I think, uh, 
some of this some of the changes like uh like what do you want to call it radiance have made it a little less fun yeah what's what's my favorite overall that's a good question too i really think five three just just has the sauce like uh, it's cool look to it amazing music fun arenas like every arena in that is a banger like is there a bad one Maybe when you're going back through the ship and it's upside down, some of them are not, like, amazing. But they're not bad. I mean, it's a cool spectacle still. Yes. Okay. Okay. Hit me with it. P rank P2 again for the entertainment of the people. That would, like, double the length of this, uh, of this stream. 5-4 is amazing when you learn how to rocket ride. I, I like, I like 5-4 and I don't even rocket ride for it. I just slam store up at the beginning, but... How is it when you can't touch water? That was not the most fun. That was not the most fun, I must say. Uh, six one's a great level too. Just a cool look and good combat. Bully Gabe, we could bully Gabe. We could bully Gabe, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I might just do an early end uh, tonight. And it's not because I don't want to stream more, but I've been busy. That's the thing. I, I've been thinking about this stream for a while, mainly because I wanted to address the the backseating stuff. Um, and I wanted to think about what I wanted to say at the beginning. But also just because I want to get these damn P-Ranks. Machine... I will cut. Is that the best you got? <laughs> Uh-oh, I'm dead. Oh, he was so close. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm a little out of practice on Gabe, it turns out. Oh, hi! Wow, you don't normally do that. You're getting rusty, machine! God damn it. Shush. I didn't realize that the piano went up. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Am I the only one who found Gabe 2 easier than Gabe 1? I... Don't? But the arena definitely has something to do with it. He's just like, he's like a lot faster. And I know you have tools to deal with his speed, but... Um, yeah, I think I might just have an early end tonight. Um, here's the thing, guys. Uh... I did have a stream scheduled for... He does not use the alt sharpshooter, kill him. I think the standard is still better. Um... Oh yeah, that's another thing, is because of like the, the position... Yeah, it's an organ. Okay, it's an organ. All right. All right. All right. Um, I think because of the position in the game that um that Gabe One is at, he feels harder because he's a bigger like he's a steeper wall at that point in the game, whereas Gabe Two is like less of a difficulty spike, and you've gotten like progressively better at the game enough that he won't be as hard by the time you get to his second fight. But I still do think that Gabe Two is harder, but it, it's not a hill I'm willing to die on. A lot of people disagree with me, so. Uh, whatever. Um, yeah, listen, I had a stream scheduled for Thursday. It was going to be Dark Souls, um, Soul Level 1. And I was going to do it during the day. But I had some plans come up on Thursday, and then I'm out for the weekend. I just am having a busy week with the holidays with family and friends and stuff. So this might be the only stream of the week. And I feel a little bad about that. But honestly, um, with the holidays going on and stuff, like I think I it may just end up being that um i need to postpone more streams to the new year um with that said uh thank you guys for a very good year on the stream 
Um, and it was pretty cool to cap it off with an ultra kill update. Um, and um, I've got a video coming out for the update on probably Thursday. Um, family. So I will probably drop the video on Thursday. I think you guys are going to like it. Um, yeah, it, it, it's going to be a fun one. I'm, I'm doing a little bit different of a format. I recorded a funny intro today. Um, but yeah, it should be a good time. And then uh, the P ranks and stuff will eventually make it into a video as well. Um, again, I said it at the beginning. Uh, I, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm over the, the backseating stuff. Um, I, I'm, I'm definitely not going to be as much of a prick on stream to, to backseaters and watching that stream back. I, I, I just regretted it a lot and it, it really ate at me all week and kind of soured my mood. And, um, yeah, I just, I just apologize. I, I can't say it enough. I, that's not what I want this stream to be about. It's not the vibe that I want here. Um, so I hope, I hope you found tonight's stream. Uh, a little Santa gave me the gift of stomach flu. <laughs> oh, Thank you for making my that. day a bit less miserable. I know a lot of people who are sick with stomach stomach stuff. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that, Cobalt. Um, I'm glad. I'm glad you. Uh, I'm glad you uh, felt better because of the stream. Um, I get frustrated playing this game, and I can't imagine doing it while keeping up with chat. I I just have recognized that I need to be better about like controlling my own emotions and not taking it out on chat. Um, uh, no Astro, you're fine. <laughs> I think you backseated me once in a game that you don't even play. It's not, I'm not talking about you at all. Um, anyways, it's just, yeah, I mean, I, I, I saw the comments. I'm going to stop reading comments, but, uh, it, it did open my eyes to something that has been a weakness of this stream that maybe, um, has turned some people off of it. And, uh, it's not, it's not the foot that I want to put forward. Um, oh, it was Hollow Knight. Okay. <laughs> it's not the it's not the foot I want to put forward. And so, yeah, from now on, it's going to be different. Um, and that's all I want to say. I hope you guys have a very good New Year. And um, I hope you had a very good Christmas. Um, and I will see you in 2024. Um, and yeah, I just joined. When is the P ranking going to come? It, it just did. <laughs> you just missed it. I apologize. Um, check out the VOD, I guess. Um, anyways, thank you all. Have a happy and safe new year and a happy 2024 if I don't see you soon. And I will see you. Everyone else, I will see when I see you. Peace.